Welcome back. So I've done a few videos in manual mode with the Avar 2 and took off in normal and sport mode, change into manual mode and away you go. Now I better fit around with the settings, doing some other different things with the Avar and I discovered that you can change your C2, which is this button here, into uh, manual mode, turn the propellers on. So this one, C1, is for the beep. So if you lose a drone, you can hit that. I don't know. As you can hear, it's beeping. You hit it twice and it does a turtle. I think it stopped beeping now. <laughs> Let's hope anyway. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change C2 over to turn the propellers on. So currently, if I turn it, the bottom of the camera will, will drop down. I don't know if I've got, a, I have. So at the moment, this is currently set to moving up and down. So C2 is set to moving the camera angle up and down, as you can see now. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change that to turn the propellers on. So let's jump into the settings and let's get it. So what I'm gonna do is jump into the settings on your goggles, the uh, toggle switch above um, your power, to press right. That brings up your settings. You wanna go down to settings, obviously. Then controller. And then in there, you want remote controller. And now in here, you can change all different things, but we're interested in C2, bottom button. So I'm gonna set the bottom button to start the motors. And it's literally as easy as that. But just bear in mind, now you've got stop motors for mid and then top is also stop motors. So just be mindful when you're flying that if you press these buttons, your motors are gonna stop in mid air and you don't want that so we need to keep our fingers now away from that button so let's go out of here uh, and let's give it a go so first of all what you want to do is you want to put it in manual mode so press that button down into manual mode so we're now in manual mode and you'll see on the top of the drone it's now turned pink I don't know if that's because of manual mode, but that's what I've discovered. So let's take off. So we started, we're in manual mode now. Motors are started. Make sure you keep your stick down. And away we go. Okay, so a bit of a disclaimer from me is when you're doing this, you're doing it at your own peril because if you notice my sticks are spring gear. So when you put, if you can see there, I've currently got it in manual mode because I've just taken off. So we're gonna put them back to normal. The drone is on. So just be mindful when you're doing this, it's dangerous. The drone could just flip off. So just be careful and be mindful. So before you take off, remember to put this all the way down and then flick that into manual and get into the routine of doing that because this is going to catch me out i know it is at some point and then this one this is now my arming stick so it's no longer bringing the gimbal up and down it's now turning it into manual mode and i don't know if it's actually going to turn it if i do no so it only works in manual mode so if you hit that in manual mode and then turn that stick to bottom it will arm the motors where if it's in normal and sport mode, which it is at the minute, I do it, it don't turn them on. So that's a good thing to know, but be, be mindful, hit manual mode, make sure it sticks down and then you're good to go. And uh, remember your pause button for the DJI. Right, I'll see you on the next one.